what's up everyone welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be doing a deck profile on my Gardevoir GX deck um, I don't really play Gardevoir but I did build the deck um, a while back or I was trying to build the deck but there was a problem I had to wait for a couple of cards to come in that I didn't have I wanted it to be the most blinding deck I can get and um, yeah, and that's what happened, but uh, cards were delayed, and something got lost in Richmond. Those of you who have experienced packages getting lost in Richmond, that's what happened to some of the cards. They got lost, and then I had to wait a month until I can make a claim. Then Amazon made me wait some more. They had me deal with USPS. So I was like, oh gosh, wow. That was such bad customer service when they made me do that. Yeah, so I finally built the, got the deck together. Hopefully, yeah, well, and since, you know, now that I built it, I decided to, like, change it up a bit, you know, and I'll tell you reasons why I have some things in here. Okay, so let's get into the deck profile. Um, as you can see, I have Zorark. Oh, we'll start off with this Zorark GX um, with Zora, okay? You can find this Zora, of course, from the um, collection box. If you get one, I am, I am fortunate. I just remembered I had one. I had opened a box and that this Zora was in there. So I could I, when I did the Shining Legends, I didn't pull a single um, shiny Zora, I believe. I don't remember at least. So I put this in here instead of the uh, Octillery. I do have Octillery in here though. Oh, I think I... There we go. Oh, take that out. I do have Octillery here. Um, but I just, I was going I was trying to play two, like one, two of this, two of Octillaries, two of Remoraids. I decided like, nah, let's change it up a bit. Once they're on my bench, they're basically not attackers. They're just taking space, refreshing my hand. Sure, they're, they're helping my hand a bit, ex help me, ex helping me extend my plays. But in the end, they're just dead cards. Well, not completely dead, but somewhat dead cards. Whereas Zorark would be like if I have a card that I don't need in my hand, let's say this uh, this hollow uh, float stone. Let's say if I, I don't need it, then I can just trade it out with um, Zoro Arc's uh, uh, ability. So that's why I opted for this instead of a second um, Remoraid and Octillery. Those are my, uh, to help me out with my draws. Okay, next we'll move on to the Eevee line. So we have two Eevees and two Sylveon GXs. Alright, so yeah, two Sylveon GXs. Um, this is actually pretty good. I was thinking of using Vulpix, but Vulpix, you know, it kind of stops there. Vulpix stops right there, but like, for example, you go, you, you go second. Your, your opponent goes first, they can't attack. Now it's your turn. Vulpix, you attack. You can attack. Or uh, it's the what you call that? What is that? I have Vulpix sitting around somewhere. Matt, where are you, Vulpix? Here you are. I was thinking of putting it in the deck, but I took it out. So Beacon, Beacon you, allows you to search up to two Pokemon cards. So I was like, nah, it's 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 okay. If it's a, I would call this a budget card because you can find this so easily, get this so easily for so cheap, also. But um, I find that Sylveon GX is much better. I mean, you can just use the Ener Energy Evolution Eevee. Just drop a Fairy Energy, pull out Sylveon GX, and then if you can attack the turn for that turn, use Magic Ribbon and pull out three cards. So it's much. So it's kind of like the same, kind of like a faster or more effective way to use that turn rather than just pulling two two Pokemon cards. Because with Magical Ribbon, you can search your deck for up to three cards, any cards, so I can get um, my Routes, a Rare Candy, and a Gardevoir. Or if I already have a Routes, maybe some Energy, or something like that. Yeah, so there we go. Let's move on to the next cards. Next we have, of course, the... Routes, four routes. I play four routes. 
Of course, uh, they have only 60 HP, so they are very easily targeted. So you don't want uh, to have too to short yourself on that. I have two Q Q Curlia. Uh, reason why I play two, I would norm I normally just play like one or like one or two. Mainly for the reason being that I want to make more space for other cards. I don't really like to have these around, but the sec uh, stage one's around if I'm going to stage three. Um, but I did run into a whole bunch of. I, uh, online, I did run into a whole bunch of uh, Sylveon EXs with that de-evolution. So if they de-evolute, use that de-evolution on you, <laughs> you're kind of in trouble there. So, um, yeah, so I have two in here for backup just in case they uh, have a Sylveon EX or Espeon EX. Um, next card, we have three Gardevoirs, of course. Your main attacker, your beater, um, one energy for infinite force. Uh, this attack does attack does 30 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. So that's pretty good. One energy, start doing 30 damage already. If your opponent has one energy, that's 60 damage already. And you can use Secret Spring ability, just which allows you to just drop another energy. Um, I think it's just yeah, just a fairy energy to any one of your Pokemon. All right. So you can just go ahead and use Secret Spring, Secret Spring, Secret Spring. If you have three of these out, you can use each energy, uh, each um, ability, uh, once one per Gardevoir. It's not once per turn, but it's one per Gardevoir GX you have on your board. So there's that. Okay, we also have the One Gallade to help with the Premonition and also to. Uh, I've also seen some players use the the other EV lines. Um, is it Glaceon EX and Jolteon EX that have that that attack that makes you that makes you not able to hit them if, with an evolution? No, evolution Pokemon. No, no, that's not it. I forgot what it was. Oh, it's the Hoopa, not Glaceon. Glaceon, I'm still having a problem with. <laughs> I'm still going to have a problems with. Um, but yeah, it's Hoopa, Hoopa EX, and that Alolan Ninetales. Uh, is it Hoopa EX? No, I think it's just Hoopa. Yeah, I think it's just Hoopa from Shining Legends. Yeah, it's from Shining Legends. And Alolan Ninetales, wherein GX Pokemon cannot attack. So I use this Sensitive Blade also. It's also a good attacker. If you play a supporter card, it does 70 more damage. Uh, who doesn't? Normally, every time someone plays a... Um, uh, what you call it a supporter every turn and permanent of course look at the top five of your cards and put them in any uh, back, on, back on top of your deck on any order goes well with Octillery Or the trade with Zorark Okay, so There's that I run two Tapu Lele's I did have three in here but I did not want to increase the chances of starting with her. If you start with Tapu Lele, you're in. <laughs> that's a pretty bad start, you know. She's your help. She's your supporter. She's supposed to help you search, and she could be a, also a backup attacker if you need to. She can take care of the Glaceons <laughs> and uh, Jolteon EXs. So we're gonna move on to the trainers. I play three N's. Three N for the reason being that you know I could have played four, but. The thing is, you're, by the time you play your third one, I think you're already close to the end of the game. So, it's like, you don't need a fourth one. It's not necessary. I mean, <laughs> but yeah, I play only three. It's pretty good because I already have two draw supports. I have Octillery. I have, I have um, Zoro Arc. I was thinking of adding in a Rangaroo, but that may be too much for my board. I play four Sycamores. Of course, because, you know, the staples, Sycamore is pretty good. Um, I like using Sycamore uh, a lot. Uh, but, of course, you want to make sure you do not have... <clears throat> you don't keep discarding your resources, but um, later on I can show you what I have to get those resources back. Next, we have four Guzmas. I mean, I'm thinking of just playing uh, three... But four seems to work. I like to, you know, if you, I mean, I re, I like to be able to keep changing cards around. 
you know, <laughs> or switching the Pokemon around, like, <laughs> it's like, it's pretty useful, it's come in clutch a lot of times, and so I like playing four, but I might take out one and just go with three, but we'll see. Uh, I play the one Skyla, uh, reason being is that there are some item cards that I might need back, let's say, um, some other cards that I might need, I'll, I'll mention those later on. I have one Bridget, of course. What deck does not play Bridget nowadays? One Bridget. Acerola. You know, I've seen, um, if you remember Pokemon Trainer Ray's deck, he's the reason why I decided to look at the Acerola. I just threw in one. I, um, it, it's kind of like only good, I only want to use it once. So, like, if, like, when I tried to, like, damage his Sylveon GX, he was able to just use Acerola and then just get everything off and then. <laughs> just put it in, just end himself I guess and then get an energy and I don't know it was kind of sad for me <laughs> you got you, you get the general idea the, all the damage I did to that Sylveon or his Gardevoir was just gone I'm like wow it's basically like a full heal or not a full heal max potion but you keep all your energy but you have to start from the beginning so I only play one of that uh, to get everything back, of course, when you just use Sycamore, I use one Super Rod, you know, just in case if I need to get a Pokemon or do I need to get energy. Uh, one Rescue Stretcher, just in case, you know, I need to get one Pokemon directly from my deck, from my discard pile to my hand. Okay. Uh, two Choice Bands. Uh, of course, more damage is good. More damage is always good. You don't, uh... It's, it's always helpful sometimes, especially if you have um, Zora Arc attacking for you or Tapu Lele, Tapu Lele, you know, as a backup also. Um, two Field Blowers. I mean, everyone should play Two Field Blowers. I mean, in my main deck, which I'll do another deck profile on, I do not use um, two. I only use one, mainly because I don't have space for it, but I'm thinking of, like, trying to make space for it. I may move something just to make space for another field blower because a lot of the players here love to play um what is it reverse valley is it reverse valley the one that makes your opponent have three pokemon on their bench at max only so like limits them to three so i'm like i really need this more of these in my deck my main deck at least and also to get rid of those pesky choice bands of course four rare candy um when I was searching for these online, I pulled one, traded one, then traded for one, bought one online, and bought this one online. Uh, I was trying to buy, find more of these online, but when I was searching for them, they weren't available, or they were just overpriced. So I was just like, forget that. Because these are going for like 20 25 They were like selling it for like 30 and up, and I was like, never mind. I found these ones, though, for much for about the same price, $20, $25. It's the, old, it's the older rare candy, but, you know, I did what I could. Um, maybe one day I'll pull another one. <laughs> So there you go, four rare candies, of course, just to get get from Ralts to Gardevoir quickly. And of course, four Ultra Balls. Who doesn't play four Ultra Balls? People play four Ultra Balls now every, every time nowadays. Um, yeah, so four Ultra Balls, of course. Um, moving on to our energies. I use four Double Colorless, of course. You know, for to use Zora Arc as a backup attacker, or and it's also good for Gardevoir GX. You know, it's Infinite Force, just says energy. It's not limited to just Fairy energy, but Secret Spring, Secret Secret Spring is limited to Fairy energy. So there's that. So, but this one does more, gives you gives uh, Gardevoir GX more damage, or it can use be used on your Tapu Lele. Or it can be used for your Sylveon uh, second attack, which is Fairy Wind. Or Plea GX, which is also good, I forgot to mention. Um, Pokemon Trainer Ray right now is one of the, the other person right now that's participated in the, tourna in the tournaments that I host. Um, that uses Gardevoir GX, and he used Plea GX you know, to <laughs> get rid of several of my cards and have me start from the beginning, which I really didn't like. <laughs> so yeah, so Plea GX is also good. And off to our energies, we play eight um, fairy energy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight fairy energy. Um, I would like to play ten, but I just couldn't fit it. 
I just couldn't fit it anymore. I didn't know what else to put or what else to take out. I I was thinking thinking of just playing one Tapu Lele, but I was like, no. Normally people play one, uh, two to three, um, so I played two. But um, yeah, so I just have eight energy. I think that's uh, what I was planning to have anyway. But um, yeah, so okay, people messaging me on Facebook. But yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and look at the do a quick view of the whole of the whole deck. I'll be right back. Uh, so here's pretty much how the deck looks like. Um, I'm going to probably change Skyla for something. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I may I may also change the Zoro Arc line just for another Remoraid and Octillery. But uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna test play test this deck. See how it goes and uh, hope for the best. Maybe I'll also take out one Guzma, add another Remoraid, or add another Zora. So just to make sure that at least one of them stays alive. Or I can add Oranguru. We'll see. But yeah. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!